Welcome to a Fifth of Jack Gaming, where it's Friday. So you know what that means? That means we're going to have a deck tech for you. We're going to do a similar thing to what we did last month. We're going to start off with a basic deck list and then work on upgrading it throughout the month. And then at the end of the month, we'll have the deep dive into the deck. Bunkmaster B to be able to help me out with this deck. We ended up sharing notes, what we ended up doing. And I kind of was, I was talking over at my LGS, which is my local gaming shop. And we ended up talking myself into actually building this deck. So that's why we kind of ended up having it. So without further ado, let's slide over to the people over at Moxfield to be able to show you the deck list that we end up having. All right, you hear that? I hear it. Why? Because it's the Call of the Wild. That's right. That's what we're calling this deck. It's the Call of the Wild. This is going to be a Naya deck. Yeah, I know. It's another Naya deck. Right? It's, But it has good cause to this. We're going to be rocking Voja, Jaws of the Conclave. It's a legendary wolf. 5-5-4-5. Five, five, four, five. A green, red, white, and two colorless. This guy has Vigilance. It has Trample. And it has War 3. That sounds pretty solid in itself, but there's more. Whenever it attacks, we get to put a plus one, plus one counter on each, that's right, each creature you control where X is the number of elves you control. That's crazy. And that also tells you what we're gonna end up doing. That's right, we're gonna be rocking that elf ball deck. However, it still has one more ability. It also has draw a card for each wolf you control. So that's when it attacks, you end up getting a bunch of counters and you get to draw for at least one because Vote is a wolf. So you can do shenanigans with changelings and stuff like that, which maybe be in this deck. All right, so we broke down the commander real quick. We're gonna get through the most exciting part of the cre- I mean, the lands, okay. Here we go. We got 36 lands all together currently in the deck. We have a Bloodstained Mire, Cabrari Courtyard, Canopy Vista, Cinder Glade, Command Tower, Dryad Arbor, Shenanigans is also a creature, Evolving Wild, Exotic Orchard, Fable Passage, Ten Forest, a Jet Mirror's Garden, a Cassic Wolf Run, a Moss Valley, Three Mountains, a Mirrored Landscape, Nykthos, Shrine and Nyx of Ancestry, Two Plains, Fall Val, a Rootbound Crag, Slayer Stronghold, Terramorphic Expanse, Wirewood Lodge, and a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth. That rocks the lands. And now let's jump over to enchantments. We have Aggravated Assault. So this could end up going more combats, more combats, growing everything bigger, drawing more cards. Rhythm of the Wild, Rising of the Day, good old Haste, and also Rhythm of the Wild gets Haste, Guardian Project. Artifacts wise, we have a classic Slow Ring. Arcane Signet, Lightning Greaves, Swift Foot Boots, and Mass Wood Nexus. So this is the thing that well, makes everything into everything. So that makes it into Elves and Wolves. So we'll end up being able to get those triggers off jo or Voja that we ended up wanting. With that, we have some instances. We have a Boros Charm for Indestructible or the Shenanigans of Double Strike. Heroic Intervention to protect our stuff. Beast Within. Court of Calling. Moral Tutor, Inspiring Call, Draw Field, and Indestructible, not Invincible, <laughs> The Fairy's Protection. And then we have six sorceries with Green Sun Zenith, Finale of Devastation, Nature's Lore, Three Visits, Natural Order, and Blasphemous Act. All right, so we said it's gonna be Elf Ball. So it's no surprise to you that we end up having 42 creatures all together. 42 creatures all together in this deck. May cut it down. I want to be shooting for 40 is what I want to end up doing because this is going to be a creature deck. So we might end up be changing that with the next revision. We have an Allosaurus Shepherd, Arbor Elf, Virtual Rangers, Boreal Elf, Elvis Mystic, and Or Elves, Heritage Druid, Jibot, or Gaspira Sentinel, Jaga Warcaller, Land of War Elves, Bramble Paragon, Devoted Druid, Elvis Visionary, Elvis Warmaster, Gaia Sage, Leaf Crown Visionary, 
Landwar Loam Speaker. Whew. Here we go. Mass Vandal, Paradise Druid, Priest of Titania, Corian Explorer, Sky Shroud Elf, Circle of Dreams Druid, Elvis Arch Druid, Elvis Champion, Elvis Spirit Guide, Missouri Renegade Lager, Barhaven Elf, Marwan the Nutrier, Marinity, Moon Blessed Cleric, Renan Walker, Woo, we're getting there, we're getting there. Reclamation Sage, Riskar, Premier Renegade, Savala, Heart of the Wild, Wood Elf, Peace Whisperer, No Mage Shepherd, Salar and Halar, Yava, Na Nature's Herald, Good Old Cradle Hoof, Wolf, Mr. Baby Cradle Hoof of Enraged er, en Forerunners. We also have a Cyborg. So this is cards that you may want to be suggesting that we'll leave out there that we have these guys and this is what we might end up working into the deck or something that we end up trying so this list we only left it to 15 cards because if you end up buying something that you like to end up on put it down in the comments down below and we'll give it a shot so we have a rogues passage for shenanigans for a commander shield of vals val it gives or this is a changeling spell, but it also gives all of our creatures changeling as well. And all of them get plus one plus oh. So this would end up making a one time good draw card, making everything into wolves. A worldly tutor, which is more uh, more tutoring for the deck. Druid of the Anima. Good old mana fixing. Arwen. Weaver of Hope. More plus one plus one counter shenanigans. Garrick's Uprising, Trample, Myla's Area, this is an enchantment that we can end up having an I Win alternate card, Rocco Cabretti, we can have a Tutor on a Creature Body, Varen Joiner, Grand Warlord Lorada, Wirewood Channel, all will be one. So naturally this should be in the deck, but we don't have it quite yet, we're working on it, once we do, We'll have to find a way to sneak this guy in there. Karras, Fury of Anubis, Overwhelming Stampede, and Wolfgar, Ice Windale. So those are some cards that you could think of. But if you think of anything else, put it down in the comments down below, and we'll tr give it a shot. And we we'll go over for the at least I believe the next over the next two weeks, we'll end up trying to do different kinds of builds that comes out with this. Or the last Friday of this month, we'll end up having to actually the deep dive into the deck itself. That'll be the final version of the deck, and that will be what we end up running. Let's switch you back from Moxfield and back over to the cam for the final thoughts of what we end up having going on here. Welcome back. So what we're gonna end up doing is we got Voja, and we have a bunch of ways to be able to ramp him out. And we have haste. And we got ways that we end up wanting to do it. I want to try doing something with you guys. So that's why I'm kind of trying to work with trying to change the deck around and saving it into the month as a deep dive for it. So with that, what I'll end up needing is you guys to be able to help me out with that is by putting it down in the comments down below something that you would like to end up seeing in the deck. Out of the box so far in testing, this thing has been the elf ball deck, it feels like. Lathro was the elf ball deck that I ended up running, but that was mainly a color holder for it. But I feel like switching over to Naya and also Vorja itself is a big driving force behind it. You still have the good old peanut butter and jelly sandwich with elves with Crater Hoof being wrecked there to be able to with be the I win card. If you're liking the content we're putting out, hit that little like button, subscribe, and be hit that bell while you're subscribing to be notified whenever we come out with new content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.